Good morning, everyone. Stop with the alcohol. Stop with the drugging. Start today with sobriety. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I just want to welcome everyone watching today. I posted a uh, video prior to 4th of July. I hope everyone got to watch that. Uh, pretty much what I was just saying, the real meaning of 4th of July is not about the partying, uh, but uh, it is about the real meaning for it, which we all do know what it is. So I hope uh, whoever was watching uh, adhered to my advice. Uh, if you didn't get to watch me, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. Uh, I have a website. It's www.clearviews.info. I'm sorry. That's C L E A R V I E W S dot I N F O. That's clearviews.info. And the website is really uh, an educational tool uh, for people with addiction, whether it being alcohol or drugs. On the website, uh, besides my own videos, it has videos from either people that uh, are going through addiction and are battling addiction or from uh, doctors or um, other folks that um, uh, recommend on different methods on how to battle addiction. Uh, also on the website, you will find plenty of articles to read, uh, amongst uh, many other things, some cartoons to look at. Everything is related to addiction. If you go to page 7 on my website, uh, on there you'll find rehab centers for all 50 states. Whatever state you might be in, whether it's being Pennsylvania, Texas, click on your state and then you will find a rehab. Um, contact them immediately if you feel that you need it. Uh, if you uh, are at the end of your uh, uh, party in life and you seek sobriety, uh, that would be one channel to go to, uh, which would be page seven and go to your state. Another way of battling addiction is the same way I battle, and that's for me to reach out to you. Uh, what I do pretty much is that I uh, constantly try to educate other people on uh, my ways of battling addiction daily. Uh, and that's my way of keeping alert and keeping focused on addiction is by going out and speaking to you folks, whether it being my website whether it's my, uh, my um, page on Facebook, whether it's just doing these videos. That is my way of uh, uh, speaking about addiction. Um, I'm not sure what you folks did on 4th of July. Um, most people did celebrate and uh, uh, most people probably did party. Um, if you did uh, and you were sober prior to this, Dust your knees, pick yourself up, move forward, start all over again. Um, I don't recommend falling off the wagon, but I do know that it does happen because it has happened to me. Uh, I've been now uh, sober since June 22nd of 2013. It has not ever happened since then. But I also hit rock bottom. And you folks will realize that once you hit rock bottom, uh, the only way is up at that point. Uh, I have tried many times prior to hitting rock bottom. I'd go a month, I'd go six months, whatever time amount of time that it took, but then I would fall off the wagon. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, when I did fall off the wagon, I continued staying off the wagon. In other words, I would drink as much as I could. So I'm here to tell you, if you fall off the wagon, start all over again. There's always, always a new tomorrow. Nothing is impossible as long as you put your mind to it that you want to, to battle and defeat alcoholism. You want to battle and defeat your drug addiction. It can be done. Um, we now move forward to uh, another holiday coming up, uh, which I believe is, uh, what is it, Labor Day? Labor Day coming up in September. Um, so we need to be careful as we approach that holiday uh, that we don't... Uh, uh, fall into the trap of uh, alcohol or uh, drug uh, abuse, or not at all, actually, abuse. That's an understatement. We don't want to touch it at all. We want to stay sober. We want to be clear, because a sober today makes for a better tomorrow. For you folks that have been sober now for, whether it being a day, a week, a month, a year, congratulations. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. As much as I'm proud of myself for how long I have been sober, I am proud of each and every one of you. Over there, over there, over there. 
I am proud of everyone. I hope that you are watching uh, my video uh, with great interest. I hope that you take this video and share it uh, amongst your friends, whether they be addicted friends or, uh, or family members or colleagues at work. Uh, if you're watching and you're not addicted to anything, that's great. Congratulations. Uh, but please do still take my video, recommend my website, uh, go to my Facebook page and uh, guide, guide the people towards there uh, so that they could also um, uh, seek the or receive the information uh, that, that needs to be received, whether it being by me or anyone else, uh, on how to battle addiction. For the folks that are watching and they're saying to, to yourselves, I want to become sober, there are different ways of doing it. Uh, there is my way of doing it, which is uh, pretty much uh, going day by day, 24 hours at a time, step by step. Going out to, to talk to other people about addiction always helps. One of the steps in AA is to seek another alcoholic. I've discussed this in previous videos. Uh, that only means to seek another alcoholic that's also in recovery. That only means to seek another person that's drug, uh, uh, addicted to drugs out in recovery. Because those people, whether they're on drugs or alcohol, they can relate to your situation. Your family members, uh, whether uh, brother, sister, wife, husband, or colleagues or anyone else that are not... Uh, addicted to any drugs or alcohol, they can only pretty much um, uh, look out and, and show their sincerity to you and, and try to uh, give as much support as possible, but they don't know what's inside of you, that, that monster of addiction that, that has built up inside you. But another person that's an alcoholic, another person that's addicted to drugs, that's going through rehab, those are the key words, that are actually seeking help and continuously uh, uh, working with that help every day. Those are the people that you want to reach out to because those people uh, can um, uh, guide you. Uh, you can guide them as well because you both have an addiction and you both can bump heads together and uh, talk about what works great uh, to, to fight this addiction. So you want to do that. Uh, you could go to AA. Uh, every city, every town has AA meetings. They're usually in churches, community centers, um, YMCA, you can go to AA, uh, like I've said many times in previous um, videos, I uh, tried AA for a few meetings, it didn't work for me, I just felt like I was sitting in a room with uh, a bunch of um, uh, people just like me, they all have addiction to alcohol or drugs, uh, but the problem I saw was is that it was almost like a, sa a social gathering, and um, there was more discussed on how people's weeks were going as far as personal lives and uh, husbands and wives and there's nothing wrong with any of that but I needed help with my alcoholism right there and right then and uh, I needed to, to concentrate on just that everything else will come into place but I needed to concentrate on that so needless to say what I did is I decided not to go anymore um, I didn't drink I didn't continue drinking or start drinking again but what I did is I I uh, sat down and I figured out this format that works for me. And that is to go out and produce these videos and to, to, to produce that web page that I do every day, that I refresh every day with new information. I get people from all over the country, even some parts of the world, that actually leave comments on my web page on uh, how they have utilized uh, uh, the methods that I really put into that web page and, and how they. They're so happy that uh, that I have that web page, and I'm happy that I have it, because to me it's my little, uh, it's like that little medallion that they give you uh, in uh, AA, whether it being a week, 30 days, a month, a year. That is mine, because every time I refresh that web page by putting new information for me, that's another plateau, another stepping stone. When people give me feedback, uh, I know exactly what I need to put on there to to keep people's interest because that's the key thing I gotta keep your interest going because if I bore you to death with the same old video the same old postings on my webpage or on Facebook then um, you won't come back to, to, to these videos anymore so I'm here to tell you that um, I will continuously uh, uh, support you 
with these videos, my webpage, my Facebook, uh, and also continuously support you with my phone number, which is 631-599-0218. My uh, email address is ralf dot f r i e d r i c h s at yahoo.com and that spells ralph dot friedrichs at yahoo.com so you have my phone number and you have my email address my webpage www.clearviews.info um, you have those three channels uh, so if you uh, need to speak to someone whether it being right away on the phone call me immediately whether it being via email you're more comfortable doing it that way that's fine you can email me I do check my emails every hour on the hour. Uh, so it's not a matter of you having to wait days for a reply. Or if you leave your comment uh, on my webpage or even on my Facebook, that's fine too. Because uh, I, if anyone knows me, uh, knows that I am on my computer, I am on my phone, which uh, also has the mini computer internet service. Uh, I'm constantly checking everything out. So I will respond immediately to you or, or within an hour, I should say. Also, uh, for the people that are out there, um, if you feel that, well, a phone call or an email is, is not what I need right now, I am uh, in such uh, agony with this alcoholism, with my drug addiction. Uh, matter of fact, I can't function right now. I can't do anything. I can barely see you, uh, is what you're saying. Uh, do me a favor. Get to a phone. Call 911 immediately. If you feel that you're that far into it and you can't function, your chest hurts, your head hurts, uh, or, or your blood pressure sky high because of it, call 911. Do that immediately, okay? And then when you get better, you can contact me. Uh, when I say get better, in other words, after the emergency is, is finished with. I am here to support each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. Because I want you to know that nothing, nothing whatsoever is impossible. But you have to believe that you can do it. As much as you want to beat your addiction and your alcoholism, the only way to do it is to believe, number one, that you have a problem. Because if you don't want to admit you have a problem, then it's not going to work. And number two, two is you have to believe you can do it. And there are people to support you. I'm one of those people. I will be here for you. That's what I do. I am here. This, isn't, this is not my profession. This is my calling to help you because by helping you is to help me I want to help I want to help each and every one of anyone that's out there willing to, to get help because I picture a world with no addiction it probably will never happen because there are just too many people uh, that, that won't admit that they have a problem I was one of those people that would say ah, a couple more drinks is not going to hurt me I'll quit next week but guess what it won't happen you have to hit rock bottom and you have to finally say, I am done. I am finished. I need help. And don't be embarrassed to seek the help. I, for one, will never judge any person. Because I know. I've been there. I've done it. I will never judge. I will welcome any person with any questions or any advice needed with open mind and open arms. I want to help you. So with all that said in mind, Keep in mind that um, a sober today does make for a better tomorrow. And no alcohol today, no drugs today will guarantee you almost a tomorrow. Because if God is really the only person that really can guarantee it. But I can tell you if you eliminate the drugs and alcohol, your chances of having a great tomorrow or a tomorrow is a lot better than if you drink, you do drugs, you smoke. Because you're just hurting your body, you're hurting your mind. And why do that? We don't have a lot of time on earth. We really don't. So let's make each and every day count. Let's make each and every day the best we can. If you don't want to do it for you, do it for your loved ones. Do it for your husband, your wife, your children, your grandchildren, your mother, your father. For whoever you have in your life that you consider loved ones, do it for them. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for them. But I will tell you, the best way to fight addiction is to want to do it for yourself. I have tried to do it for just others, and it didn't work too, too well for me. So I'm not advising that to do it. What I am telling you, um, if you 
are selfish enough to not want to do it for yourself, then try at least doing it for others. But please try with every ability that you can to first do it for yourself. Because then doing it for others comes hand in hand. It's just, it, it'll just happen. You're not bypassing you to go to your husband, your wife, your children to please them. Because when you do it for yourself, all the other things will happen automatically. Meaning, your children will notice, your husband, wife, your parents, your grandchildren, everybody will notice when you do it for yourself first. But if you don't want to do it for yourself, but you want to just do it for, to please everyone, at least do that because you're meeting halfway. In other words, you're, going, you're taking a half a step, but I don't recommend, please just do it for yourself first. Say, Ralph, today, I want to stop. I just want to stop. Go seek help, whether it's AA, whether it's to continue watching my videos, whether it's to, to do whatever you want to do, but go see help. If you are an alcoholic, eliminate the, the alcohol totally in your house. Get rid of it. I had to. I had to go in the house, get rid of it all, in the backyard, where I used to throw my shot glasses, uh, shot uh, bottles, in the shed where I had some. I just had to eliminate it all. If you have any drugs in the house, get rid of it. Flush it. Any pills, get rid of it. Just be careful where you throw your drugs and, uh, and, and pills because you don't want uh, them to get into the wrong hands. So I'm just letting you know that if you truly, truly want to stop today, let's do it. I'm here. Let's work together and get you sober. Let's work together and eliminate all the addictions that you have. It's not like an on and off button on a light switch. It's gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna take day by day, hour by hour of education, educating yourself, of 100% wanting to clean your life up or clean your body up of the addiction. And uh, it's going to take uh, commitment, 150% commitment on your end. You can't just give us 60%. So let's do it together. I'm gonna cut this short now. Uh, we're up to about 17 and a half minutes. I don't wanna bore you, uh, but I want you to know that I am here, 631-599-0218, or Ralph, R-A-L-F, dot Friedrichs, F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S, at yahoo.com, or www.clearviews.info. Uh, 